Have you seen Chris? Because I, I haven't seen him in like a half hour. You look oh. for me? Hi, Pee-wee. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, you gotta get around these trials somehow. And uh, this even has a nice basket for my, uh, for my trial book. It was beautiful. Awesome. Hey, everybody. Okay. Pacific Plug and Liner is our second stop, actually third stop. Third stop. Of cool. the 2012 California PAC second Trials. Of today. Second of today. It's Saturday. Good crowd here at uh, yeah. PNL. And uh, for good reason. They've got a lot of stuff to see, so we better not waste time. And the first thing we're going to do, kind of winded from that ride there, whew, oh. is look at this cool marketing display that they've created of five of their, uh, uh, no, excuse me, four of their, their cool new introductions. The first being this beautiful hellebore called Penny's Pink. Lenten Rose, eh, Ellen? That's correct. But look at the color on this. Beautiful deep foliage and, and a but dusty burgundy flower. Right, and it's, it's not all about the flower. It's, uh, it's the mottled leaves that look really, really cool. A little bit like a Fitonia, I think I said. So that is uh, Penny's Pink Hellebore. Also, Jen Zirko, videographer extraordinaire. Note the signage in the background, the big sort of postage stamp with the Dutch flag on it. That shows that this was bred in the Netherlands. And right next door, Iberis Masterpiece. Not new, you might have remembered this was introduced two years ago. But, we uh, loved it two years ago. We, we loved it two now. years ago. Jimmy Turner raved over it. But alas, hand production issues with it, uniformity, etc. Now they swear they've uh, solved that problem. It's back in the marketplace full time. What can you tell them about this Iberis? It smells wonderful and it's compact. And I don't think I've seen any flower that's any whiter than that is. Oh, and they do have another one coming down the pipeline, is that correct? They do. Pink ice. Pink ice, that's right. Not quite the same habit though, more mounded. Now, faith and big order then. We've gone to Ireland <laughs> and my, my, uh, my friend uh, Pat, uh, Fitzgerald. Pat Fitzgerald and this beautiful line of Evercolor uh, Carexes. Beautiful green colors, various, uh, various uh, ever variations. There's Evergold, Evergreen, and Everest. Um, and some more coming, I think. Yes. Next, some Dianthus which uh, they liken to little peppermint candies mm -hmm. up on stems. There's a red swirl and a pink swirl. I believe that's the pink and that's the red. And, and very then, uniform. And then lastly, lemon ice uh, arenaria. Now I'm not familiar with arenaria, but uh, it looks like a beautiful little topiary. See the little tiny yellow flowers? Now this is not the plant habit, they forced it along to get the flowers on it, but this little trimmed, beautiful mounded habit is exactly what you're gonna get. The thing is, this is not trimmed, this is how it grows. And it looks like a perfectly trimmed topiary. It does. I would use that as a, as a boxwood replacement. And then the very last thing we're gonna show you, something PPNL does every year and they've continued that, is a comparison trial. In this particular case, Dianthus, Dozens and dozens of different dianthus on the market, all grown in here, the same treatment. So you can do a side-by-side -side comparison trial of all the different types that are on the marketplace.